Hey guys, got a quick little EDC video because hey, if you got a YouTube channel that has anything to do with guns or knives or whatever, you gotta be one of the cool kids and have an EDC video. So, here we go. Mine, I try and keep mine as minimal as possible. When I walk out door in the morning, not counting my uh, little name badge that I gotta have on the lanyard, uh, this is pretty much what I'm walking out the door wearing. Uh, where I work, they don't allow weapons, but to and from my vehicle in the morning and once I get out to the vehicle at night, this comes with me. This here, Keltec P11 in a Remora reinforced holster, reinforced top model. This is the one that has the Kydex insert inside there. I leave the pinky extension on there because it makes it easier to draw. However, if in the event that I need to get out to go to, say, you know, run inside to the store, get a soda or something like, you know, quick trip or whatever, and I don't want to be just, you know, walking around with a gun sticking on my waistband like some people do, it's just not my thing, I will pull out this little pocket holster that I made out of a mouse pad just to keep things as thin as possible because the P11, while it is thin, is still an inch thick and it is not as thin as, say, a PF9 or a 380. So I will just take my flush fit base mag, pop her in there, drop it in there, into the pocket it goes. So, still draws easy. This pocket, I keep nothing in, simply for this reason, because you never want to carry a firearm in the same pocket as you carry anything else. It's just general safety, even if you use a holster. And I keep this in my vehicle. This is a uh, DeSantis, it's a spare mag holster for the pocket. It's pretty much for the rear pocket, but you can use it in front, whatever. The only reason why I use this instead of the Remora is simply for the fact that these little 10 round mags uh, for the Keltec do not really fit the uh, Remora because they, they come up to about right here and they don't really leave you a whole lot to grab a hold of if you want to pull it out. So that's the only thing that this has over that. That's it. And the only reason I use this is just to keep the rounds in there and to keep gunk out of the mags, you know, lint and stuff like that. So there's that. With the, uh, and again, not trying to stick too much on the remoras here, but uh, with the remora, the nice thing about it is in the morning, I just pop this little guy up, stick it in there, shove it on my waistband walk out to my vehicle, as soon as I get in there, it comes out, goes between the seat and the center console, and it just sticks in there, just like that. So if I ever need to, if somebody tries to carjack me, whatever, it's right there. Reholster's easy. Cool. Moving on. Front left pocket gets a lot of junk, but I still keep everything stripped down as simple as I can. This little guy here, my $5 Chinese Wonder flashlight. I believe it's an SK68 is the model number. They've got these things all over eBay and Amazon. These are awesome. Runs on a single AA battery, and you can use those rechargeable lithium ion batteries, I believe. I don't know what the model number is. It's like an eight something. It's like a five digit number, right? I'll post it in the notes if I, if I get around to it. But that brings the output of this, the light output of this, ridiculously bright. But even with just a simple uh, AA, I use a Energizer lithium batteries because they last longer. They they store forever. Um, it's just bright as ridiculous, you know. For a single double A, this thing puts out as much light as my three triple A's and and so on. So, got that clipped on there. Inside the pocket, nothing else in there. I have this little handy dandy multi tool that I got for four bucks. They have these all over the place at. Uh, I believe I got this one at AutoZone. They got them at Walmart, you know, everywhere else. It comes with a little key ring on there. I just unhooked it and don't really need it. But it's got everything you really need. I mean, it's got a nice little little knife, which usually comes dull as crap, and I sharpen it up. It's got a uh, booger picker, I mean a nail file. comes with uh, these little scissors that are on here. They're so-so. The spring of mine, it's thin and it broke, but they're still functional. You just have to push them back open for every little snip. And you got a uh, saw, which actually has worked for me cutting wood, believe it or not. It, it does a pretty good job. I use it mainly for cutting straps on boxes of paper at work, those plastic straps that they hold together. 
because people keep stealing my damn scissors. The uh, Phillips head screwdriver on this thing is pretty freaking worthless. It's like half of a screwdriver tip. It's flat, which makes no sense on a Phillips head. So it really doesn't work very well, but it's I use it for other stuff, so it's handy. The uh, flat Phillips, or not Phillips, sorry, flathead screwdriver on this is pretty decent. It's, it's fairly thick enough to hold up. And then there's this little one. It's supposed to be a small flathead screwdriver. It doesn't really take a lot of torquing. I've already bent the crap. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. But I have bent that little booger. But this works really good for really small. You know, if you've got, if you've got to pry something really thin. And, you know, it, it's, it is what it is. The bottle opener on this thing is junk. Don't use it for opening bottles. I tried it one time on a bottle of Guinness. It bent. <laughs> so it's worthless for that. The uh, little wrench hex key, whatever, little hex holes on there, uh, 5 eighths, 11 30 seconds, 3 eighths, I've never tried them, but eh, it's neat to have, and it's also got little markings on there, and uh, oh, I believe these are centimeters, and on this side we got inches, so eh, sometimes it's pretty handy, so, but for four bucks, for the sizes and everything, hard to beat that, this, keys, gotta have keys, quick detach, I think I got this one at uh, another AutoZone special. I think it was two of them in a package for three bucks or something. But vehicle keys, got door and ignition on one. And since I got an SUV with one of those little locking gate deals, whatever, on the back, uh, key for that and house key. So if I need to get out, leave the vehicle running for some reason, I can still get in there, get out, whatever. So there's that. That's the front pockets. Back pocket. This little thing, the Aluma wallet. Uh, you've seen them in Wally World and everything, I'm sure. These are really good for just basic, basic carrying of like cards. You know, I got the CCW, you know, driver's license, insurance, debit card, and just a couple little stupid things. You know, I got my Bass Proof card, such like that. But as far as carrying cash, these suck because they, if you just add just a little bit too much thickness, you can't close the things. So I have a second wallet that I have for that that I only carry on the weekends. That's what I carry my cash and all the stupid little cards like, you know, my Fry's grocery membership card and all that BS, you know. So, but other than that, this is really good. It's small, it's thin, it's hard, it's, you know, it's good for what it is. Ye old cell phone in the right hand pocket in the back. I keep this in a case just to keep the sweat off of it. And this thing's ancient. I mean, it's, you know, it works, it dials numbers, whatever. But I just have a cheap little cell phone case I got for what, three bucks or something at Big Lots and the clip broke off of it. I put I uh, riveted a little leather belt loop on there and it works pretty good for that but I just keep it in my back pocket because you know I don't like having crap on waist if I don't need to. There it is. Also in the back right here got my Kniffy. Now I do not usually keep this out while I'm at work. I will while I'm at work since they don't allow weapons. Um, and it's kind of a don't ask, don't tell sort of thing. Uh, I do use this also for opening boxes and such, but I will keep this in my front right pocket, not clipped because that visible clip, you know, sometimes it draws attention. And I've had security guard ask me uh, before about my light, but he saw it was just a light and he's like, okay, whatever, no big deal. But if I were to pull out this thing, he'd be like, hey, that's mine now because you know, no weapons policy. But it's good to have just for, I don't consider this a weapon because I don't really use this for defensive purposes or anything. This is just a tool. And I, you know, when I'm outside of work, I keep it clipped right there. And I can still get my cell phone in and out of my back pocket. So, works good. Doesn't take up any space. This particular one, this is one of my favorite EDC knives. This is a Gerber Evo. Thin, lightweight, good lockup. Combo edge, real, real good metal for the... You know, it holds an edge really well. I mean, I know there's people who are even knife snob to say, Oh, there's better, oh, you know, this crap, Gerber, whatever. This is like 20-something bucks. I mean, for the money, it's it's a great knife. And got the little finger flipper on there. I'll, I'll do probably a review on this at some point, you know, but that's for another video. So, more or less, this is the extent of all the crap that I carry on me during the week. And, again, while I'm at work, this does not come with me. This stays locked up in the uh, in the vehicle in a little safe that I have in there. So this is pretty much it. 
So I keep it bare minimum. And on the weekend, it really doesn't get a whole lot bigger than this. So, but I'll cover the weekend EDC in a, another video. So there it is. Uh, for whatever it's worth, you know, if anybody can get anything useful out of this, get some ideas. Brands, types, whatever, you know. There it is. Thanks for watching.